All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example involving uh, permutations that have repeated symbols. And what we're going to do, kind of a, a classic problem, we're going to look at how many different linear arrangements from the letters uh, from the word Mississippi are there. And again, the idea is, uh, you know, for example, we've got four S's here. The S's are all going to be indistinguishable, okay? So that's, that's one thing that's important. So the formula says, well, if there are n objects total, so in this case, the number of objects is going to be the number of letters. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like 11 letters. So in this case, we've got 11 objects that we're looking at. Okay, that we're working with. It says if you've got uh, n objects, n sub 1 of a first type, n sub 2 of a second type, n sub r of the rth type. It says if you add the types together, well, you should get n. So all that means here is, you know, the different types of objects we have. Well, we have different types of letters. We've got uh, m. We've got m's present, or at least one of those. We've got an i's in there. We have s's in there. And it looks like we have P's in there as well, and I, I think that's it. So those are the different types, and we're just going to count. We've got one M. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four. Four I's. <clears throat> we have one, two, three, four S's. And then it looks like two P's. And again, if you add these together, two plus four plus four plus one, hey, that equals 11, the total number of objects. That's all this condition says. It says, well, then there are n factorial over n sub 1 factorial times n sub 2 factorial uh, up to n sub r factorial, all being multiplied. It says we get that many linear arrangements of the n given objects. Again, objects of the same type are indistinguishable. So it says the number of linear arrangements in this case. Well, all we do is we take the total number, which is 11 factorial, and then we just take our different types, and we just take factorials of each of those. So 1 factorial, 4 factorial, 4 factorial, 2 factorial, and now this is what we get to uh, simplify down here. Um, I did not, I do not have a calculator. Let's see if we can't do this by hand. So 11 factorial. That's just 11 times 10, times 9, times 8, times 7, times 6, times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. Let's squeeze that in there. 1 factorial is just 1. I'll stick it in there. 4 factorial, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Another 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 from our other 4 factorial. And then 2 factorial is just 2 times 1. Usually I cancel out the largest factorials that I can, so we can cancel out a 4, 3, 2, and a 1 with a 4, 3, a 2, and a 1 in the numerator. Um, let's see. Um, we've got 4 times 2. 4 times 2 would be 8, so we can cancel the 8 out in the numerator. Let's see. 3 times 2 would be 6, so we can also cancel, it looks like, the 6 out um, of the numerator. And I don't think think, uh, is anything else canceling? I don't think so. Um, so to me, it looks like we're left with 11 times 10 times 9 times 7 times 5. Let's see here. Um, so 11 times 10, that would be 110. 9 times 7, that's 63. And then times 5. Um, I think we're almost there. Let's see, 110 times 63. 60 times 110 would be 6,600, plus another, uh, I guess, 310. So 110 and 63, that should give us 6,930. Then we would have to multiply that by 5. Let's see, if you multiply 7,000 by 5, we would get, I guess, 35,000. But we've kind of uh, overshot that by uh, 70 each time. And we've done that five times, which would be 350. So 35,000 minus 350, uh, what would that be? 34650, um, if the math in my head is right. Let me see. Uh, let me type this in here real quick. So 6930 times, come on, 34650. Perfect. All right, um, so it looks like to me there's 34,650 
different linear combinations of the word Mississippi. So again, uh, nothing too crazy here, uh, just another formula to remember. So I'm going to do another example involving linear arrangements. At some point, too, we'll also talk about how you can go from linear arrangements maybe to circular arrangements. So maybe you're kind of, a, a, you know, assigning people seats or, you know, uh, around a table or something, uh, you know, men and women. So we'll look at the different number of circular arrangements as well. But another linear arrangement problem coming. Hope this one makes some sense and helps you out.